Welcome back everyone to Tarantula Exotics and today we are in the tarantula room and as promised last week and by the title of this video you probably know what it is but I did sell some tarantulas in order to fund a new project. As you can see behind me we still have plenty of tarantulas here. I think I'm still up to like 45 even after the big like fire sale thing. Um, but yeah we have all the tarantulas still here uh, except for the ones I did sell but without further ado let's show off the new addition to the tarantula exotic uh, experience. And uh, also later on in this video, I'm actually be picking up some new additions for my new edition. That makes sense, right? Anyway, stay tuned. All right, here we have the newest addition to the Tarantula Exotics community or experience, as mentioned before. This is the 40 gallon Innovative Marine saltwater fish tank. As you can see here, we have quite a few corals. Most of them actually being zoas. I'm a huge fan of zoanthids. That's one of my bigger things. In the back there, you can see the utter chaos. In the front, in front of those are the pokeroos. I've got some green monty there. Uh, some more zoanthids at the bottom there. Uh, I can't remember what they're all called. I know I have some sunny d's, some rastas, some uh, some other stuff as well. Can't just blank on the name right now, but yeah, you get the point. Uh, and then obviously I have some really cool fish in here as well. Uh, so I've got a bunch of hermit crabs, a bunch of snails, and uh, two clownfish actually. And um, also one last thing, which you can see right here. This is the red spotted mandarin. It doesn't show up very well on camera, unfortunately. You can just make out the outline of the face there. But yeah, I have uh, some copepods in there already, but we're actually going to be going to the store to pick up more copepods. We'll get to that later on in the video. And yeah, those are the two clowns. Uh, one's a Picasso clown and one's just a regular Ocellaris clown. But uh, super excited to have this tank going. It's been running for about three months now and honestly just couldn't be happier with it. So, um, oh, and by the way, I also have some shrimp in here as well. These are some uh, cleaner shrimp as well, uh, which I'm a huge fan of. I love how you like put your hand in the tank and they come swimming up to it. Huge experience, obviously a little different than tarantulas. Uh, tarantulas don't interact that way, but uh, still very cool nonetheless. All right, so you guys just checked out the saltwater tank and basically we're on our way to Pisces right now. Uh, we're in the car on the way there. I feel like saltwater tank was really good, but I think it is missing one thing. Actually, two things. So we're gonna pick up some coke pods for the Mandarin. Uh, we I did do a coke pod establishment early on in the tank, but uh, I want to buff up the population just to make sure there's enough food for the Mandarin to eat because uh, they do have a very strict diet. So making sure of that, and then we're gonna pick up a fish today. So I'm I'm excited to pick up the fish. Uh, I think it's a good addition to the tank, and uh, something that I really enjoy watching. So. That's what we're going to do right now. We're on our way to Pisces to do that. They do have a Black Friday sale going on all this weekend. Uh, it is currently Sunday, so uh, we should be okay. I'm hoping it's not too busy in there, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And yeah, we'll go to Pisces, pick up the fish, and we'll get it home and get it acclimated. All right, here we are at Pisces Pet Emporium in Calgary, Alberta. This is the fish section here for the saltwater. Uh, quite a lot of cool fish in here. Just wanted to show them off really quick. Um, but yeah, see if you can guess which um, which fish I'm thinking about taking home. And uh, in fact, I actually ended up taking home two of them. There, there was one that was a planned purchase, one that was a bit of an impulse purchase. Um, done some research on it in the past, but wasn't sure if I was going to bring it home or not. Uh, I ended up pulling the trigger on it this video, so uh, yeah. Let's check it out, check out the selection, and see which ones I pick up. Any guesses? Make sure you leave your guesses down in the comment section below, and see if you're right in just a minute.
All right, we are back at home. And as you can see, I did pick up one of these six line Rass from Pisces. Couldn't have resisted this guy. This is actually the plan perch that I had in mind. The, I felt like the tank was missing that like active, super active uh, fish there. So the six line rash should cover that nicely. And then obviously next to it was a bit of an impulse buy. We got the long tentacle anemone. Super excited to have one of those in the tank. Cannot be, cannot be more excited to have an anemone finally. I have all the coral in there. Just was missing that one thing, but uh, ended up picking that up as well. So really excited to have that as a, an addition to the tank. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the tank obviously looking really good. And uh, so far it's been good. We acclimate them through a temperature process. So we leave the bags in there. Then we do a drip acclimation afterwards and kind of add them in for throughout there. Uh, but lastly, I did, like I mentioned, pick up some more isopods for the Mandarin. So I actually got two bottles. We're gonna dump the first bottle in right away. And the second bottle we end up dumping in overnight, which I don't show on camera, but uh, yeah, you can see here riding a quite a bit of a population of coke pods to the tank just to help with that feeding schedule for the mandarin uh, because they're such picky eaters so uh, two bottles went in one right now and then one at night just to protect them um, i also added the one at night mostly to the back filtration just so they had a place to breed and kind of be themselves but uh yeah that's gonna do it for this video please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already really appreciate the support and uh, i guess until next time i will see you in the next one Bye for now.